You are the reason. You are the reason. Yes, that's a statement. It's also a title of a song. You can look it up. You know how I am. I am moved by music. Callum Scott recorded a song named You Are The Reason, and it fits for today's scriptures. Today, brothers and sisters, you are the reason. There is a reason why there was a calm in the storm. There was a reason why somebody had to say, Jesus, wake up. Why was there a reason? It was you. You and me, we are the reason for the peace and blessings of our God. And so today, we are the reason. You are the reason. That little voice in the back, that is the reason for us to say, I can't wait for tomorrow. If we can't wait for tomorrow, then we don't need to live for today. There is a reason why we have a desire to want for more, because God wants us to have everything that he has intended for us to receive. Maybe sometimes we're not ready to receive it. That's okay. But we can say, I am ready and willing to accept what you want me to have. So many times we want to tell God what we want to tell him what we want, right? That may not be the way to do it. Sometimes we just have to say, I trust in you, my God, and may your will be done. And I end with this. We had a wonderful, wonderful retreat. I don't know if any one of you were here at 5.30 on Saturday or yesterday morning at 7.30, and I shared so much of what we experienced at this wonderful retreat. Our young people are on fire. And so my desire, number one, <laughs> I have to say, don't let their fire be burned out. How do we do that? Let's be the voice of joy. Be the spirit of happiness. Show them a face of welcomeness. Not that because they're young and they need to be cast away from us. No, that's not how we do that. We welcome them. We welcome them and let their light shine upon us so that we can be encouraged as they are. I can't tell you how much joy they have given me in this past week. They were wonderful. And you're going to say, Father, they're children. Yes. And guess what? They are the voice of God. <laughs> they are the voice of God. They spoke to me in ways that I have never heard anybody speak to me before. And so today, in this light, we are the reason. As Callum Scott says, you are the reason that God has created us. He has created us in his own image. Yes. And so may we live in that image and be the light of Christ for those who live around us your neighbor, your friend, 
whoever, maybe even at the car wash today. I was gonna say I was gonna go get my car washed today, but I don't have a car. But at the car wash, yes, even there, that is the voice of God. Can we be that voice of God for someone today? Amen? Amen.